Dell, congratulations. Well, I'm going to ask you a few questions here about your background. Okay. What individuals had the greatest influence on you and your wrestling career? Oh, I had I had two outstanding coaches. Uh, one high school coach, uh, H. L. Peterson, who started. Uh, basically wrestling in North Dakota. He's the father of wrestling and ran the first uh, two state tournaments. And my college wrestling coach, Don Lemnis, uh, both great mentors uh, to follow. Who is or was your idol? I really don't have an idol, but uh, uh, the, uh, my hero uh, have to be Dan Gable. And we had an opportunity to watch Dan uh, wrestle in college and uh, was there during his last uh, match where he, in college where he lost it and, um, and took that adversity and defeat and turned it into something terrific with his coaching in Iowa. I mean, the most, most good wrestlers uh, have a hard time transferring all that uh, drive and determination into into the coaching part of it and he just was marvelous I mean we saw their run through there and and he was so nice with with clinics and and spending time with them and and Dan Gable he's he was awesome uh, Dell what, what was your hometown uh, Williston North Dakota and you went to college where went to school in Valley City uh, it's a small little state school in in North Dakota great how did you get started in wrestling? Well, the football coach, H.L. Peterson, <laughs> he was football wrestling and the track coach. He said, uh, if you're not playing basketball during the winter time, uh, you're going to wrestle. And so, uh, okay. <laughs> so I wasn't playing basketball, so I went out for wrestling. I started out at 105. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what do you attribute your success in wrestling to? You know... Hard work. Um, hard work is, uh, I think, the key to to uh, to wrestling. I, and incidentally, we I I got the award in the football program uh, when I was a senior. We had a terrific group of seniors, and uh, um, about half played uh, foot basketball and about half uh, wrestled. We had uh, twelve uh, twelve of our seniors go on and play in college, and um, I was. Uh, I was average, uh, so to speak, but I, we, you know, we had a great team, and um, I end up uh, getting the hardest worker award, and it was voted by the teammates and by the coaches, and I said, you know what? That's pretty interesting. If if I can get that award with this group of uh, outstanding individuals that we had, um, then uh, hard work can get me someplace. So I I used that uh, uh, to get me into wrestling, and it, it carried over into wrestling. It's obvious that you carried it on throughout your life. Yeah. Is is there any one outstanding situation or memory that you have involving wrestling? <laughs> my my very first college match. Um, I was um, uh, about two weeks out of football. We ended our football season, and we had about two weeks, and we started our, our first our matches. And, and about uh, three quarters of the team, they were wrestling from the fall on, you know. So there was about seven of us that went from football into wrestling. And so the very first college match, we were going against uh, the defending uh, uh, conference champions, and um, they. Guy in my weight class was uh, was a, a league champion from the year before, a conference champion, and um, um, I, it's there were nine minute matches, and so <laughs> we went from six minute to two weeks, and then nine minute match. So in my mind, I'm going, this is I'm going to just start out nice and slow, and we're going to work into this thing, and they're going to go. So we shook hands, and bam, he was on me in a nanosecond. He was. <laughs> <laughs> and we we went through nine minutes of matches, and at the end it was 13-13, uh, and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't talk, I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything. And I said, if college wrestling is like this, I'm in big trouble. And that's my, my very first match. It was a very yeah. tough match. And the coaches were all excited because there was a freshman against a, a, a junior, and, and uh, but I wasn't excited at the time. I was, <laughs> I thought, this is too tough for me. This is, this is rough. 
Oh, why did you decide to become a coach? Oh, my, my, my two mentors, they were just, I saw what effects they had on, on uh, some of my teammates and classmates and myself. And um, they were such great fatherly Im father images. And, and uh, my dad was, was working a lot. He was, he was gone a lot. And so I, I was looking for a father image. And, and the, the two coaches, the high school and the college coach, Don and HL, they just, they were terrific. And so I, I said, if, if I can be half of what those guys are, I'm going to be an educator. If you could start all over again, what would you do differently as a coach? You know what I, I I don't believe in starting over, and I and if I and when I look back at that, I think I left uh, all my marbles on the table. I think I give it my shot, uh, and uh, our coaches uh, um, uh, give it their shots and. Looking back, um, if I could, uh, you know, we, we were hit by a little hard luck sometimes. I felt we had three years, I felt we had, we had the best teams in CIF out of the 550 schools. And, and uh, our preseason showed it. And uh, uh, when we got to the finals, uh, we had a couple of injuries at the bad time, a couple of hard luck matches. And of course, that thing, that's how life goes on it. But um, I wouldn't do anything different. Mm -hmm. I, I felt very comfortable with with what we did as a program and, and and how we carried ourselves and the kids that went through us what, what they learned and what they got out of it and and I, I feel real real comfortable with that great what would you like people to remember about you that we had a bunch of terrific kids that uh, learned uh, some of life's um, skills and, and techniques in wrestling like uh, hard work and dedication and, and uh, stick to and, uh, and uh, to carry them over into, into their, their careers. And I see them come back and some of my biggest uh, thrills is seeing them come back and being presidents and CEOs of their companies, of, see, of being uh, uh, managers in charge of their divisions. And, and these, these, we had some, just some terrific kids. And, I, and I'd just like to be remembered for, for having the kids and doing a little bit in their development. As we end here, our, our interview, how did wrestling contribute to your life? Oh man, you know wrestling is so great uh, from the standpoint of uh, it teaches you to to persevere when times are tough. It teaches you there's no one else to rely on, and so you have to find a way to oh, dig no. down and and uh, make it happen, and and um, um, ask the Lord above to help you and, and uh, all your uh, cunning and desire and, and skills and, uh, and um, make it happen. And, and uh, you know, every day we're confronted with situations that are tough and, uh, and um, uh, I, I see people, we were fortunate. We had an opportunity in the, in the wrestling and some of our sports background to, to, uh, uh, to meet adversity and to learn how to adapt to it and to, to uh, come back and, and uh, conquer it or survive on it. And, uh, and so that, that, that lesson has stayed with me all the way through is, you know, you can, you can get down, but you don't stay down. Great. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome.